Joshua Kemble, and this is vlog number 118. This is the vlog where I talk about quarterly stories, which is my graphic novel that I hand write, hand letter, and hand ink, and then hand to you, hopefully someday in print. But until that day, it's available serialized online at quarterlystories.com. It's a very personal story to me um, about faith and mental illness, and this is the vlog where I document the process and the progress of creating that graphic novel on top of being a full-time artist, a full-time father, full-time art director, and a full-time husband. And uh, we're at the park, and as you can see, I am pushing my son Benji on the swings, and he loves the swing. Look, I am Do you see the pattern of the stomach? The pattern is thick. Oh, of numbers. Yeah. All right, so we're at the park, basically just uh, you know taking Benji so he can go on the swings. We usually kind of walk this whole distance. It's like a baseball field, and it's been pretty uh, pretty good Saturday, pretty good weekend so far. So tonight, yeah, we had Tommy's. That was pretty awesome. And then tonight, the goal is to hopefully, like, Mai has to do some watercolors. So I'll try to show you guys some of that. And then I gotta do a uh, pink tunnel. He's talking about tunnels from Thomas. Yeah, the different tunnels. So anyhow, I gotta do, like, another panel of quarterly stories. And then my additions came in for the Monty Python poster. So... That's pretty cool. I also know the dates for that show, so I'll let you guys know that uh, once I'm able to kind of read it. Oh, here they go. Here we go up the hill. Go, 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 Benji. You can do it. Use those muscles. <laughs> it's a big climb. So, yeah, so then uh, I have to sign and number those posters and. Uh, then that should be like pretty much the day. Something I've been thinking about a lot um, with the comic too is just like the idea of persistence because I'm almost two thirds of the way done. So it's gonna happen at some point. Oh. <laughs> Trying to get him to drink water. It's funny when you have kids, you start realizing like, um, how much of like the fundamental just basic stuff like drinking water eating food something you have to kind of teach them <laughs> which is hilarious because as an adult like you all you want is sleep and food and stuff like that but anyhow um point being i'm just feeling a little more positive about persistence because it's like if you stay at something long enough eventually it kind of gets done um and it's a much better position to be in where you have a completed thing than like being one of those people who's like, I always wanted to do a graphic novel or I always wanted to whatever, you know? So yeah, but anyhow, so we're at the park, pretty nice day. Uh, now we're gonna go back to the playground up here and uh, rock a little more on some swings. Yeah. All right, so I'm back at home and I finished my pencils for the night. So I'll show you those real quick over here and then uh, show you some of the other stuff I got to work on. I got to sign my editions of the uh, Monty Python posters and I'll also let you guys know when that um, is happening as well. So first, let's take a look at what I penciled. Okay, so we're at this point in the story where it's basically talking about um, the actual effects, the physical effects of a panic attack, and basically, so here it's basically showing somebody constrained, here it's showing somebody shaking, and then here is actually showing somebody experiencing chest pain um, in a very, like, you know, obviously symbolic way. So yeah, so these are the two that I finished tonight, and feeling pretty good. Um, Pretty much at like a pretty much the halfway point on this page. So one step closer to done. 
Okay, now it's time to go have a car wash. Okay, so some good news. I have the dates for the Monty Python show at Gallery 1988 where you can go and you can check out um, what I have right now, uh, like, you know, the, the prints that I'm going to be signing. Uh, you'll get a little sneak peek on this vlog. And then if you guys wanted to pick up a copy or just see a bunch of cool Monty Python themed art, including my piece, um, the Gallery show is going to run from February 2nd to the 24th. Uh, 2018 at Gallery 1988 in Los Angeles. The opening reception is going to take place on Friday, February 2nd from 7 to 9 p.m. And uh, it's at Gallery 1988, which is right on Melrose Avenue, 7308 Melrose Avenue, Los Angeles, California. You can just Google it. Uh, just look up Gallery 1988. And uh, the opening reception, like I said, is on the 2nd. So from 7 and 9, so if any of you guys are in the LA area, um, I guess I'll hopefully see you guys there. Alright, um, now on to signing some of these prints. Okay, so the nice thing about this is I actually have to set aside a copy of 15 prints, and those are specifically for Python themselves. So that's pretty exciting. So these go off to the side, and then basically the rest of these should be numbered at 50. And it's literally just a matter of now signing each one and hopefully getting it back in this bag if I can pull that off. So anyhow, uh, should be pretty exciting. The 15 are set aside for Python. The, uh, the rest I will sign. And then uh, on Monday I'll drop them by Gallery 1988. <music> So these are ready to go to the gallery. All 50 editions are signed and I'm good to go. All right, so Maya's working on this awesome painting um, so far. It's like a lot of the details in there, but still kind of working on it. How's it coming along? Slowly but surely. to keep your pencils extremely sharp. It seems anal, but it really does make a difference. See, if you do the tips in a lighter color, it might blend it in a little bit better. And then you darken the middle a little bit again with another color. Of course, you only notice if you stare at it really, really close, but <laughs> <laughs> you still, I don't know, I still do it because I just notice. Because actually, it's weird. You go to a gallery and people do this at paintings, you know? They'll, they'll try to get, they want to see that detail.
Yeah, it's always cool seeing your process on this kind of thing. Okay, so we just got back from Benji's grandma's house uh, where we had like a little uh, dessert thing. I did my um, yoga and my workout for the day and now it's time for me to sit down, do some comics, and then hopefully uh, get some rest for work tomorrow. Okay, so I've finished penciling my panel for the night and uh, so far it's looking pretty good. A little bit closer to done. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, thanks to those of you who liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to these videos. It helps keep these going. Um, feeling pretty successful today, so I hope you guys are having success uh, tackling your creative challenges. And uh, I will see you guys next week.